Here we have verse 20 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has been describing himself as the Good Shepherd and saying somewhat extravagant things about his identity in that connection. And we hear in the preceding verse that as a result of that, there's been a division, a schisma, as John puts it, a radical division, really, of opinion among those who are hearing him. And of course, not too surprisingly, the ones who are taking the most hostile position toward Jesus appear to be the religious leaders. And they're the ones who are apparently giving uh, utterance to what we hear ha have here in verse 20, elegon. This is from lego. I say, it's the third person plural, imperfect active indicative, so they were saying. And then da, the post-positive soft conjunction, poloi. Uh, poloi is the uh, adjective. It means much or many in the plural here with the uh, plural nominative uh, masculine. Uh, we would translate it many of them or many. Uh, were saying, the imperfect, eggs. Uh, the preposition ek takes the genitive out of, so among them or out of them. So many of them were saying, and then daimonion, the word for demon, a neuter. Uh, noun here, it's the object of the verb eke. And so it's uh, from echo, I have, third person singular, present active indicative, he has a demon, kai the connective, my netai. This is from my no my, kind of an unusual word. The uh, root of it, that word, the root my, actually means to desire oneself. And idiomatically, in the middle voice, as we have it here, it had the idea of being tied up with oneself. Our word idiot actually has the same idea, uh, where a person is more or less wrapped up in his idios, you see, in himself. Uh, we have another idiomatic expression to be beside oneself, which is also something of what's going on here. The idea of desiring oneself to the point that you're really unaware of anything else. It almost has something to do with autism, actually, in terms of the uh, sense of the word. But, of course, it was just used colloquially to mean a person that was mad, a person that was beside themselves, out of their mind. That's the idea. And so uh, he has a demon and is mad is the idea. And then te, the interrogative pronoun, why, out to, the genitive, uh, which is the object of the verb acuita. Why do uh, you hear him? Him is the object of the verb. Why are you listening to him? This man's out of his tree. Uh, he's uh, not worthy of this kind of attention. And so these are, in the most radical sense, making a dismissive kind of comment about Jesus as a result of the things that he has said.